Guys, I'm really excited right now because the uh, fuel has been placed in such a position uh, that the uh, Logitech C910 uh, webcam that's masked with this uh, Teflon tape. Um, the idea was that the CCD, which is kind of flat against the uh, casing of the photographic film, um, would receive any particles or hopefully would get some particle emissions from the fuel uh, across the um, CCD element and uh, the idea was to try and get longer tracks and it's been going now for 137 hours and uh, if anyone's been following this it's been updating the uh, tracks uh, that have been captured uh, to the Google Drive that was linked um, and I will show you something we've just seen. So most of the tracks that have been detected are these kind of what they call spots, uh, which is basically when a particle's gone straight through the uh, detector. Um, these are quite large. Uh, if I actually put the brightness down a little bit, you can actually see some sort of uh, structure to it. Anyway, they're all uh, loaded up online in their raw form. Um, we have had some longer uh, sort of events, uh, so something coming in here and affecting here and then coming out here, I don't know. Um, this kind of curved track um, is, uh, I don't know, maybe a beta particle or something. It's in the original Dongroon paper. Um, uh, again, another spot, uh, another spot here. Here's something which uh, sort of coming in. There's another spot here with two events over there. Uh, try and bring the brightness down so you can see it. But this is the thing I've got really excited about. Uh, it's <laughs> doing this kind of M shape, uh, something going off here, but really, really excited about this. That there's a, another track where there's something over here and a very long uh, part over there. But I want to come back to this. Why am I so excited about this? Uh, well, the reason is this. Just dial that down. Um, it is because of the work of Keith Fredericks, and this is from his ICCF 18 presentation, University of Missouri. This is the superluminal transform on the particle, and this is the helical uh, proposed path that he's saying makes these like M tracks, and these are all kind of different tracks that have been observed in various experiments. And look what we see. Could this be the first time that a strange radiation, or tachyon as he calls it, has been observed uh, live? Um, uh, if you can use a CCD to observe these things, uh, getting a really thick CCD um, would be a, a wonderful tool to be uh, able to observe these things and some of the more interesting detail about their motion. Uh, uh, just, I'm, I'm just absolutely over the moon about this. So this will have occurred um, in sample time. Uh, well, it's basically doing 102 samples per minute. Um, but again, if it's coming in at one part of the detector, maybe over here and going through, uh, uh, you won't necessarily see multiple uh, repeats of this, which I'd love to be able to see, but... Uh, Anyway, this, this, this is exciting enough for me. If anyone else thinks it's something else, I'll be very interested to hear.